Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So today's video is special. I got um, a couple figures in that I was really excited about. Uh, I got the most epic, uh, insane, custom He-Man and Skeletor. <laughs> So welcome into my channel. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe for more great toy videos, 80s, 90s, nostalgic videos, and things of that nature. Yeah, this is some custom uh, figures I got off of Etsy from a seller named Shadowworks. He does them all himself. Um, one person operation. Uh, Mr. Home Arcade got them, and then I saw those, and I was like, wow, I gotta get some of those. So let's take a look at these incredible figures. All right, here we go. What I got is two custom figures I got off of Etsy, a seller named Shadowworks. I'll leave his link for his Etsy store in the description. Um, we've got custom made, handmade, homemade, whatever you want to call it, custom um, He-Man and Skeletor figures here, and they're absolutely incredible. Um, these are some of the nicest, some of the nicest um, He-Man and Skeletor I've ever owned. Uh, especially that Skeletor. I like the He-Man too, but that Skeletor is just incredible. So right now he only has the He-Man and Skeletor and you gotta, you pretty much gotta check his store every day to see when he's listing up new, new, uh, the ability to buy them. Uh, cause they pretty much sell out pretty quickly once he puts them up. And then you've got to wait quite a while, probably like a month for him to make them and, and get them to you. Uh, but it's well worth the wait and uh, in my case uh, he says since I had to since we had to wait for these he included us a, a base for them custom color bases uh, which is pretty cool uh, and he included a different head sculpt so this is the head sculpt I think is the normal one and I think this one's supposed to be in like an Alcala style so we'll look at these. Uh, so we'll look at these individually in more detail here. But uh, yeah, check it out if you want to. Uh, and he said that he's going to be making more figures. Uh, he said he's got the molds ready for um, Trap Jaw, Man in Arms, and Beast Man, I believe. And then he's working on the molds for uh, female molds for to be able to do stuff like Tila and Evil Lynn. I can only imagine a collection of of these. All right, so without further ado, let's take a look at these individually. All right, let's take a look at the He-Man first. So he's got a lot of awesome detail. One thing I like about these figures are the musculature is really beefy. It, you know, it's what I want in like this scale of figure, which the scale, I'm gonna compare it to a Masterverse and stuff uh, here in a little bit, but it's a little bit shorter than Masterverse. So like somewhere in between, maybe like in the six inch range. So pretty cool, it's its own thing. That's neat. Look at that awesome power harness. Um, and then look at this detailed loincloth area with an extra utility belt. We got a removable knife there. We got this awesome detailed with straps and everything. Uh, hand gauntlet. And so the back got more detailing you can move this this belt around you can move it how you want to and so there's that side knife there's the knife itself pretty cool there's the boots and then and then check out that head sculpt that face sculpt that's a really nice he-man face sculpt a little bit different but i like it this is just its own unique thing so it's got articulation in the head the hair does kind of prevent a lot of you know range of movement like him looking up or anything like that but he does have the the ball joint articulation and he has all the ball joint articulation and a, a bend elbow bend uh, ball joint articulation in the shoulders and then elbow bend and then uh, the wrists do do have the rotation and then you got uh, 
on a ball at the waist for rotation at the waist and then the legs are on the ball joints and the on the upper thighs there and then you got the elbow bend I mean the uh, knee bend and then you've got uh, bendable uh, ankles so it's got all the modern uh, collectors you know adult collectors articulation to do some really cool poses and everything so I'll put him on his stand so yeah his I guess the stand isn't normally included but he does have I guess he since it takes him a while to ship these out he'll end up including extras in this case I got an extra head sculpt for Skeletor and the stands but uh, if I get future figures from him I'm gonna ask him if he can make some make some stands for me I'll pay him a couple extra bucks if, if it's necessary so I got him showing on the back here because I wanted to show you uh, so this just hangs on these little pegs that are on his back uh, the straps of his back armor it hangs very nicely it looks really cool and very detailed and that will hold all his weaponry except for the knife which goes in the little knife holster so I already got the power sword there and then there's a spot for his his axe and then here's the shield it goes on uh, on this part right here slips on there so there we go got all of it on there that's a really nice piece um, obviously this this is a custom and it's not really an action figure to be played with but it can be posed and displayed in many different ways so this is exactly what it needs to be for that so you can take the shield off you can take out the, the the axe and take out that power sword and then here's the his sheath his holster very detailed it's a little bit different than the one that I saw that Mr. Home Arcade got. Um, on mine, these straps stick out, extend out farther. I don't know what the purpose was that of that was for, but uh, looks fine to me. And so, check out this power sword. Look at that. Look at the detail on that. So, very impressive. And he's got a more standard looking He-Man axe. It's got some battle wear in it and everything. Got a nice, nice uh, hand guard on there, handle. And once again, here's his little side knife. Pretty cool. Little something extra, little something different than your standard boot knife He-Man, I guess. Then we got a shield. It's got a an extra a strap there and the handle to hold it and then there's that painted shield very cool and so for he-man he did come with a extra hand um, I think he could I think he can hold stuff with this one here but I guess this is more of a gripping hand if you want dual gripping hands yeah this hand will work for the shield but it doesn't work super good so you probably unless you want him if you want him to hold two things you probably want to put the other hand on hmm you know what this hand guard although it's cool it kind of interferes with that hand let me see i don't know if this hand guard okay oh, okay the hand guard slips off well maybe well kind of want that hand guard though Ooh, this hand guard's kind of tricky and fragile and it kind of gets in the way of this hand so I'm gonna recommend just not even doing anything on that hand uh, you know I know it's not perfect but hey uh, <laughs> these are pretty cool customs so I, I ain't complaining everything can't be perfect so let's pose him up with his stuff his axe and uh, put away the power sword and everything and see how that looks
All right, let's take a look at this incredible Skeletor. So he's got he's got uh, his stuff hanging on the back as well. His hangs a little bit differently. It's a little bit better than the He-Man. Honestly, it hangs on some little little hooks. Um, so there's nothing. Uh, so there's no peg sticking out of the back of him like on He-Man. And he's got his half of the power sword. The figure itself uh, just looks incredible. Look at the detailing on that. Got all the same articulation, of course. Looks like his hands are designed to have that Skeletor finger grip, you know, hand grip that has, also could be a pointed finger. Pretty nice. He has a little uh, side knife as well on his belt. It's a little bit different. But uh, just the look of the Skeletor is so good. Musculature is amazing. So he has a little removable top hood piece. Really cool. So I think, I don't know if this is the Alcala or which one, I guess the, the more flat nose is supposed to be like the Alcala style. And then we got this one. So he's got like this, this awesome stitched together cape. That's a nice piece. The head should pop off pretty easily, I think. Yeah. You can remove the cape. We can take a look at the back. Again, just a lot of detailing on these. Let's see what this other head sculpt looks like. There's the other skull. If you wanted to, you could keep the cape off and have more like a traditional Skeletor look. He really nailed that hood. The hood was really cool. So here's his scabbard. And his pa the purple power sword. Huh, doesn't seem to hold the power sword very well, to be honest with you. You can do it to where it kind of like hangs in the hand, but that actually looks really good. And the poses he does on his listings is something like that, where you can have the the sword like held down like that. So that definitely looks good. But he doesn't grip it super well. Again, I ain't complaining though. And we got this awesome Havoc staff. So this is a two-piece. The, the skull part attaches to the base. I think it's actually magnetic to kind of keep it in, keep it where it needs to be. So it kind of just sits on there. And it's got even like some cloth feeling little extension there. And it's super big, super long. And I think that makes it really awesome. You can do a lot more with this one than you can like a regular one. Really cool. All right, got these up here in the front on my table for a while. Incredible figures. If you don't mind unlicensed stuff, and uh, obviously these are for display only. Uh, you can pose them around, but you know they're they're not toys you can play with. But uh, they look absolutely incredible. Maybe you don't want to go the route of uh, Mondo or something. Uh, you want something that's like high end looking, uh, but. Uh, you know, a little bit different and special. Uh, check out this these uh, customs from Shadowworks. They're absolutely incredible. I can't wait to see when he comes out with uh, Beast Man, Man at Arms, and uh, uh, Trap Jaw, and maybe Tila and Evil Lynn. Man, these things will be incredible in a, in a set. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.